Greenwood Police Department has been working to solve a cold case for a decade now, a shooting that killed a 15 year old boy. So today they released balloons and a video with information that they've been gathering. 7 News' is Elise Devlin talked with the victim's family and with the police today about what they're hoping moving forward. It's been 10 years since Malik Padgett lost his life to gun violence at a friend's birthday party. Today, his family and the Greenwood Police Department honored him with a balloon release and said they need the public's help now more than ever so they can solve this case. 10 years ago, LaCarsha Padgett's worst nightmare happened, and for 10 years, she's had no answers. I hated the world because they had took my son away from me. No one would tell me who did it. And the person that was walking around free and he could do this again. 15 year old Malik Padgett was at a birthday party in Greenwood when a group of unknown people began firing shots into the crowd. Malik was hit in the chest and succumbed to his injuries. Since then, no one has been arrested for his death. This is one of those cases. There's so many people that were there that when all this incident occurred, I mean, you're probably talking anywhere from 50 to 100 people. And for us not to have people come forward, it's just heartbreaking. Greenwood Police Chief DJ Shadowin says he knows people have the answers him, his team and Paget's family have been searching for. On Wednesday, a balloon release was held, followed by the release of a new video explaining what police are doing now. One of the things that, that we're in the process of doing now is taking all that evidence and resubmitting it to SLED um, to redo it and see if we can tie it to maybe other shootings that's happened after that shooting. As this investigation continues, Paget's mother says she's hopeful. The only thing that would make me feel better if they caught that person because he or she would not be on the street to do that again to somebody else and have their family feeling like I was. Greenwood police say this horrific of an incident should never have happened, but witnessing what Paget's family has gone through over the course of 10 years is what continues to motivate them to do everything possible. The worst cases we ever have are those where parents have to bury children. And unfortunately, from when I started 20 something years ago up until now, it seems like it's happening a lot more. Greenwood police says they've reassigned this case to a new detective and it will be his sole focus moving forward. In Greenwood, Elise Devlin, 7 News. So if you would like to watch the full video that was released today by the Greenwood Police Department about this investigation, you can find a link. It's in our story on WSPA.com.